Good morning, it is Monday. How are we feeling? You are watching Quack TV because why watch Crap TV when you can watch Quack TV? So, yes, good morning, my lovers. How are you? How are we feeling after the most romantic day of the year? Was we enjoying it by ourselves or was we enjoying it with someone? Make sure you drop into the comments to tell me who you are, what you're doing, what you're drinking, and how your weekend was. It was fabulous. What do we think to my new hat, by the way? Honestly, what do we think? It uh, looks like someone could be abducted by it. Yeah, if you don't get the reference, you're too young. So, good morning, Kirsty Hall. Off the mark, my love. Kirsty Hall, by the way, people, signed up two new clients in her brand new business. Actually, started a week ago, practically. You know what I mean? Congratulations, hon. Congratulations. So, I had a great weekend. Absolutely lovely. Finally wound down a little bit. I've been thinking a little bit about side hustles. Side hustles or a side business. And for me, I want more of a side hustle slash hobby. But for a lot of people, they're like a side hustle slash side business. And I think we we'll, might end up talking about that a little bit today. But yes, my, oh, bear me. Hello, Mr. Quackers and Jane, who he works with. Honestly, everyone wants to hear Jane's laugh. It's exceptional. So yes, good morning, Mr. Fenton, the Activity Connector. Hope you are well. So yes, this weekend I've been thinking about a side hustle. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I wanted something a little bit practical. Take my mind like off just life, just shut down for about an hour or two, especially whilst Mr. Quackers is possibly at work. And for some reason, I've really got either into something to do with resin or lever working. Not sure which one I'm going to go with, but watch this space, people. You may find out. So, this morning, before I bring today's guest on in the next few minutes. As we know, every morning on Quack TV, I go through the different days of the year. I also go through what's trending on Twitter. Sometimes I talk about fabulous and wonderful weird news, and also sometimes I talk about Google Trends. But today, because the Google Trends and the news were pretty boring, I'm just going to do days of the year. So today, for your social media, in case you are stuck for any ideas, it is Hippo Day today. That's right, it is Hippo Day. And it is also Annoy Squidward Day. Apparently, that is a thing. If you understand that reference, you are too young to be watching this. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a noise Squidward day. Oh, good morning, Vicky Midwood. Um, it is also Singles Awareness Day. That couldn't make it sound any more depressing after Valentine's Day, could it? Singles Awareness Day. It's also Gumdrop Day. Not the gumdrop button. So you've got to do it, haven't you? you just, you just got to do it. And it is also Random Acts of Kindness Week. So this week is Random Acts of Kindness week. And as it's Monday, what random acts of kindness could you do this week? What could you do? Anything. You know, could it be, I don't know, picking up something for someone? Socially distanced, of course. It's quite hard to do random acts of kindness, isn't it, with COVID? Oh, God, I said the word. It's, it's, it's a Monday and I've already said it. Oh, Christ. Um. So, yes. So it's Random Acts of Kindness Week. It is also Hippo Day, Gumdrop Day. It is Singles Awareness Day and Annoy Squidward Day. And also on Twitter, your trending hashtags are as follows. Hashtag Monday Motivation. Hashtag Monday Thoughts. Hashtag Monday Morning. Cheers. And it is also... Oh, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. So apparently it's also Decimal Day. So February 15th marks 50 years since Decimal Day when the UK switched over from old money to decimal currency. That's quite interesting. I find that quite interesting. It's, um, I don't know. So first of all, good morning, Facebook user. I don't know who you are, so you need to click accept at the top. However, with this request you just did, can you say gun drop day again, please? Gun drop day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of them days. Oh, leaving a bunch of flowers on someone's doorstep. Absolutely. Or if you want to do a random act of kindness, buy a bouquet of flowers and pick a flower out of that and leave that on someone's doorstep. That, you know, just make sure it's not lilies because we don't want any dogs or cats eating them. Just don't leave lilies on people's doorsteps. We don't want that. Especially with my guests that I've got going on. We don't want to harm any cats. Trust me. So, yes. Um, who else have we got? It is. Um, my act of kindness is be polite to people all day after having one hour sleep and having an eight month old baby. <laughs> Love it. That it is a big hat, Cara. It is a big hat, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling my hurts. And yes, it is very nice, Vicky. So today's guest, 
with no oh yes it is you whoever just wrote that there you go there's your answer you need to click more or just put your name in the chat just tell me who you are it's fine so today's guest baby let me have a quick quick glug cheers peppermint tea with a spoonful of honey oh so yes <laughs> today's guest um, i'm really looking forward to bringing them on they're very very passionate about um helping people helping bo people's bodies helping people's minds they're also in education they also can play some fabulous steel drums um but today we are going to be talking about network marketing now don't run off don't be scared right we're just going to be talking about basically how it, you can actually make it work for you and basically getting rid of the myths and that stigma with it because this person's been in a long time and they have built a successful business for it so it's because i've been talking about side hustles and side businesses and things like that that i cannot think of anything better for a monday so oh it's jody fletcher there we go not the gumdrop button i'll be doing that all day now um and i need to get a cup of coffee yes you do cara so with no further ado good morning mr sadler Hey, good morning. How are thank you? you yeah, really well, thank you. Nice and early on a Monday morning. I don't do early. I'm a night owl. I'm a night owl. You say, how have you been? You been well? Yes, I had a really super relaxed weekend. Just me and the cat. So, in fact, one of them's just come up to say hi. This is oh. my, this is my sidekick that you'll know, lady. Oh, uh, so she literally just came up to see me. It's so, yeah. Been just got damn flashing his pussy on the on Quack TV. What can we say? <laughs> what can we say, sir? Um, Dan, just in case people don't know who you are and what you do, who are you and what do you do? Okay, I'm Dan Sadler. I'm known as the biohacker. Now, what's a biohacker? It's not scary. It's it's not um it's not like a computer hacker. Bio means body, and hacking is optimization. So, as you said when you introduced me, so uh, what wonderful introduction as well. Thank you. Um, you said that I help people with their body and their mind. What we do is hack the existing body systems to work better. And that's what I'm currently doing. That's my passion and that's my my route forward. Oh, love it. And you know what? We've known each other now just since Rona slid into our DMs, haven't we? That's that's as long as we've known each other. Yeah. And it's it's pretty cool. Like we've never met. Ever. No, and it feels like I've known you for what years. Yeah, <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> but no, so it's really, really cool. And obviously, you're really passionate about this, and you have been passionate about this for quite a long time, haven't you? Absolutely. Uh, my story around healing started around 2015. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what really happened to me was I had some chronic health issues. And my, my doctor kept, um, uh, they kept making me feel really bad every time I went and asked them for another way. Is there another way? Is there, is there another way that I can help myself? And they told me, no, there isn't. And then like after about three years of asking, he said, well, if you've got this specific bacteria in your stomach, we might be able to help you flush out this problem. Um, and they actually they couldn't do it because I didn't have the bacteria present that they needed to do the other alternative treatment. So I went onto the internet because as you know, the internet is the, the internet of things. Everything's out there. You yeah. can find anything you like in this, in this big haystack if you look hard enough. So I found a way to help myself. And it wasn't with the, with the company that I currently work with, but the healing journeys that I've seen people go on since I've been with this company has been incredible. Um, so my own healing journey started with a cabbage um a cabbage has rare vitamins in it one really difficult vitamin to find that can repair a part of your body i don't want i want to stay compliant and if anyone's interested to know about healing and stuff they can reach out to me privately for sure yeah oh i like that i like that you're like i'm, I'm just gonna stay compliant like yeah it's um... a <laughs> love it oh we've got vicky midwood saying good morning to you hey, vicky. Just send him lady some love good morning mr mark james um okay. fabulous mark james but yeah this is really cool so obviously like i mentioned um i've been thinking about a side hustle slab side businesses but i personally was wanting something a little bit more practical for me you know because with my adhd it's quite nice to keep myself entertained mm -hmm. however if people are wanting a side business slash side hustle mm -hmm. um obviously you work with a fabulous company and it's going to be something we're going to turn into today so once again people before you tune out this isn't a perching, like, sketch, sketch, sketch? I meant sketch. Sketch is a type of hole. <laughs> We're not going with sketch. We're going with sketch. So, yes. Um, so, Dan, obviously you work with, what's it called again? 
um i work with a company oh, okay. uh, in the biohacking world and what i don't do is i don't announce the name of these companies publicly because i want to stay completely compliant this isn't about me poaching someone else into That's my fine. team so first and foremost what i'd like to get across today is the the importance of a side hustle the potential of a side hustle and the ways to make it work i come across people every single day in my um, networking travels who have network marketing businesses that may have been abandoned by their leader. They may have never been shown how to start. They may have just been told to go off and do that training at the beginning. Watch that video and do the training. That's your first assignment. And if sometimes you don't complete the assignment, they never talk to you again. Mm -hmm. um, so there's so many people out there that have these amazing potential side hustles. And um, we're talking about leverage, building leverage, uh, yeah. working with a, a small army of salespeople rather than doing it all yourself. It's powerful. When it's done right so that's what i'm really here to kind of portray today no, perfect so what was some of the things you wanted to talk about because i know when before you came on I, as i ask everyone i'm like what we're talking about today and you told me and i like you've come prepared hun like you have come prepared sir what are we talking about dan i'll let you take the reins what we're we talking about okay so today like i just said it's about sorting out the professionalism of the network marketing world mm -hmm. it's um, it is when it's done right it's a beautiful thing and do you know what um, I recently spoke to an amazing networker called um, Stefan Longworth, um, mm -hmm. absolute diamond. I'm going to actually plug him while I'm here because well, I can't do it because it's, it's over there. It's, my and book's over there as well, but he's an he absolute me, gem. He sent me this book, which is uh, called Prepare for Takeoff, and it's all about um, how to be a professional in the network marketing industry. Now, when I met Stefan a year ago, I just joined 4N. I was very excited about networking, very excited about growing my business and my team. After a year of being in the network, um, we obviously what we've been living through as a, as a, as a, a whole world. Um, I was starting to feel my enthusiasm was starting to wane a bit, but it was uh, it was Stefan that helped to pick me up a little bit and just kick me in the right direction and remind me about how powerful this industry and this movement is. So, um, my my mission now is for this year is to to teach people and educate people on how to reactivate your network marketing business. Um, so the step one, the first thing that you can actually do is to find the right company. Yes. Because there's so many people that just get taken by hype, right? The, yep. the new shiny toy comes along. Somebody screams about how good it is, how much money they make, how many people they're helping. And To be fair, like influencers, air quote, sometimes don't help with this, do they? Like, you know, well, no, most of the time. Because... They do just massively promote one in particular that I'm not going to mention because it sounds sponsored. But it's um it, it's shakes that say they're made from herbs. And it's see what I did there. Yeah, and you're completely right. You've got to find the right company, haven't you? But sorry, I interrupted you. Carry on. No, that's fine. Let's have a conversation about it <laughs> as we go down. If anything comes up, just jump in, just jump oh. in. So really, you're looking to find a company that aligns with your values. I mean, if you you know what your values are. For me, it's ethical. Um, at the time I started the business, it was actually the fact that all the products were friendly for vegans and gluten intolerant yeah. people for me. Um, another thing that I, I found with my company that I, I went with it because we have science that can prove the product works. That's unheard of in our industry to have actual scientists review the product and publish it on medical journals. Yeah. Um, and also something else you should look for is, is your company floated on the stock market? Are they a big hitter? Are they are they looking out for your future as well? Because if they're floated on the stock market, the likelihood is the company is transparent yeah. about how much you can earn at particular levels and stuff like that. Yeah, no, love it. And do you know what one that I, like with the stock market that I'll mention, I can because I know it's not yours, is utility warehouse. And yeah. a lot of people, once again, this is a prime example, and apologies to a couple of people that I know are watching that actually are utility warehouse reps, but these are the people I'm talking about. And in particular, you mentioned a particular man, Stefan Longworth. Yeah. And you know, he's um, he's done that well for himself. People are talking about him like right now. And he is within utility warehouse. He's nearly like the very, very top. He's like the creme, creme de la creme. Like creme he's de la like, creme, yeah. Top yeah. Top. And you know, even like Dan Herms is saying he's so first of all, Dan says hello. Um, and then it's also, well, Stefan Longworth is awesome, a good friend of mine, amazing mentor and coach. Yeah. And he's from Utility Warehouse, and it's because he has done it right, and he has done it well. And there's a lot of people, as we know, that that don't, and it comes across in all network marketing, and this is why a lot of the time it gets this stigma. And it's because it doesn't have to. You know, you can make a life out of it and an income, like yourself. You know, you can, 
at the same time, like you're saying, if you find your values, it can just be something that you're passionate about, products that you love or a service that you love, and you can make a bit of cash from it. Honestly, like, the first step is so important to reaching the heights of Stephen Longworth, finding the values of the company that aligns with you. Because yeah. if like, um, if their mission has to be in line with your values, whatever your values are, your values might be that you want um, more time with your family. So they might be a family orientated company where they treat the whole family on trips or whatever it is, you have to find out. I've got some cat destroying the sofa, but hey, ho, it's, um, <laughs> it's live. You can't control what's going on in life. So, yeah, I mean, and when you mentioned about the money, it's not about the money. If it's about the money when you join, you will have very limited success. Your wind will pop out of your sails so fast. Yeah. Um, because, like, yeah, the money is a good carrot. People do are attracted to money, and not everybody, but most people are attracted to money. And the idea of winning big is, is lovely for most people. And the idea of winning big through a team of people where you distribute the work um, amongst yourselves then that's an even better, this is why people fall into network marketing, why people are like kind of dragged in by the dream. So um, literally what I would say is, is that when, when you do actually make the step and you do join a company is to listen to your mentor and to make sure that mentor also aligns with you. See, for me, I don't get excited about promoting utilities. I would love, love, love to work directly with Stefan Longworth after reading yeah. his book and meeting him a few times. I would love that. But utility warehouse doesn't align with my values. And it I'm doesn't not, I, I can't get excited about yeah. about utilities, whereas some people do. And this is why our industry is so great. Yeah. Because if you love utilities, I mean, <laughs> and a bit, a bit like you, really. Well, utility warehouse is one of the biggest ones in the country, so we will keep using one that of the as biggest well. in the world, Callum. Yeah, like we'll keep. It's, it's a good reference. So, like with UW, a lot of people, and these are the people, like you're saying, that actually do well with it realized how much it helped them when they switched on to it and then they go wow i actually have a lot of people that i know would benefit from this and yeah. then you know they found their value They're like wow like this is awesome for me well some other people like for example in hull it doesn't benefit me like we can't actually get the benefit of uw in hull and it's known throughout the whole of uw <laughs> but <laughs> uh, as soon as you say if you're from the hull they're like uh and i'm like yeah um but Without going on a tangent, it's because once again, once they've been helped, they realize, oh shit, I have a lot of friends or family or friends of friends in the particular, maybe in the area you live in, that can benefit from this. Like, what the hell? And it's insane. It's insane. And you're right, you've got to find the right mentor. And once again, going on maybe a little bit of a tangent, I think that's right in all types of business, obviously, with like what I do. There is no problem or shame saying you've got a mentor. For me, I think it is awesome. It's like, I've got this person that's making sure I am reaching my full potential. Full you will potential. not succeed without a mentor. That's a thousand percent correct. If you go into a company and you try and reinvent the wheel, which is going to lead me on to my next point quite mm -hmm. nicely. If you reinvent the wheel, then what, what, like, this has already been done. They were doing this before online, before Facebook, before um, before like, what we're on now, StreamYard and all these Fandango things we have to promote our businesses, these tools, they were doing it belly to belly, face to face, but with the same principles. So if you don't learn those principles, if you don't learn that system, then you're, you are reinventing the wheel. If you try and bring in your own style, your own way, and you say, oh, I don't want to do that, I'm going to do this, you won't get the success because the people before you have made success out of it. So I'd say always listen to your mentor. It doesn't always need to be the person that sponsored you in. Um, network marketing is a beautiful business. You don't work. You're working for yourself, but you're not by yourself. You could go up the line, up the line, up the line until you find someone that's prepared to invest in you. Um, but once you learn the skills, then then there's no turning back, really. There isn't. It's really, really cool. And. Do you know what? I'll be honest, I dabbled in it, but at the same time, like we're saying, you need to find the values and, you know, the right mentor. It's okay to try them and realize, actually, I don't think this is for me because for a lot of people, it isn't. I tried it right at the beginning of COVID, right before I realized, you know, I'm going to push my coaching. And I try, I'll be honest, I tried party light and I was like, I love candles. My mum's a candle fiend. I was like, yeah. But then I realized, a bit like what you said, is am I looking at this as a quick book or am I looking at this as a potential long game? And I went, I don't really care about this. Like, I just don't care. And 
it's kind of known with me. A lot of people, or should I say some people, which I hope to change the mindset, they'll do something they don't care about just for the sake of doing it. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'm the kind of person where I'm like, if I don't care, I cannot do it. Like, at all. You in have life. to be able to care. You have to be able to wake up every single day and be like, I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what, what kicks people up the arse to do that? I know you like that that phrase. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> is that if you have a why, your why needs to be massive. If your why yeah. isn't, if you're, if you're not looking to take your family to Disneyland or if you're you're not looking to do that world cruise with your partner or if you, you don't want to go and do that, if you, if, if you want to get that pilot's license you've been dreaming of for your whole life or take that Formula One sports day racing around Silverstone, whatever it is, like your why needs to be big. You might want to retire your partner and bring them home from corporate and bring them back into the house with the kids. Like um, that, if your why isn't big enough and it doesn't genuinely make you want to cry every day, then then what are you going to do on those days where you want to quit? What are you going to do on those days where you're at a brick wall, where everybody says no to you, where you're feeling low yourself? Yep. What do you do in that state? Well, there's not much you can do at that stage unless your why is solid. Um, so there's another part of it. You need to really understand why you're in there because there'll be some point along the road where you'll be confronted with it and yeah. you'll need to pull it out, really pull it out. Like, oh, why am I doing this? Yeah. Um, you will get that frustration. But like I said, once you learn the simple skills, the three things that you need to do to be a network marketing leader are marketing, prospecting and presenting. Three simple skills. Marketing is outward facing. Yeah. Um, what you put out on social media and via your um, any media channels or even by like magazine articles, blogs, podcasts. Um, prospecting is what you do on a person to person basis, maybe in the messenger, over the phone. It's when you're taking somebody through your process. So when they go in the top of your funnel, mm -hmm. how do you get them to squeeze out the bottom of the funnel as a customer or as a team member? So you're presenting then is if you don't present your business, Who's going to join you? Um, yep. So it's really simple. Once you learn those three skills and you get really, really good at them, nobody can stop you. No. And it's into, and you know, it's like Vicky Midwood he is saying here, from my old mentor, methods are and many principles are but few. Focus on the principles and stay true to you. Mm. I like that, Vicky. I really, really like that. I like the fact she's put old mentor as well because I'm a new one. Um, <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> good morning, Chelsea White. And Ernie Boxall, good morning, Ernie, is saying presenting is the action. And as we know, Ernie does yeah. help people um, that can't speak or struggle to speak on live videos or in calls or anything like that. So make sure you sign to Ernie's if any of them resonated with you. But no, I plug so many people on this live. So yes, it's yeah. um, it, you are completely right. You are completely right. But the big thing that I personally say to people is there is, first of all, don't be worried about, like you're saying, you can't give a flying fuck what people think if you say you're an MLM. I can swear it's my life. So, yeah, it's a, you, you can't. You can. If people go, oh, you're one of them, yeah. But maybe instead of going, oh, you're one of them, and go, why? And then they might go, oh, actually, I resonate with some of that, what you've said. And it's like, there you go. Listen, there, I like, love it when people ask me, is that a pyramid scheme? And it's like, oh, well, do you really think that I would be involved in something illegal? Like, you know me. Do you really think that I would try and sell you something illegal or try and rip you off? Because if you do, maybe we shouldn't be friends. <laughs> I actually really relish that that challenge because that I, you can flip that right on its head because as soon as you portray that pyramid schemes are illegal, people are yeah. like, oh, I didn't actually know that. But what I mean, I mean like a pyramid thingy thingy. And so the description for me is, is a corporate business. You've got the CEO at the top. You've got the next line of board of directors, managers, regional managers. And then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until you it's hit. It's on a hierarchy. Like, yeah, that's, it it, but when you say a pyramid scheme, people go, oh. But when you Ooh. say, oh, yeah, there's a hierarchy, you know, there's a big boss, there's other bosses, there's more bosses. Then there's like area leaders, there's regional leaders, there's like team leaders. And then there's like us that report to them. And we have our teams. How Even cool even schools, head teacher, yeah, head teaching team. Uh, then you've got the staff. Then you've yeah. got the kids. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's all built out in that same kind of structure, top down. But with network marketing, you have the ability to be the top of your own pyramid. Love it. And what would you say you've learned the most out of the time you've done network marketing? What would you say, like, the, you've Ooh. learned? I've learned absolutely to go completely inside. 
to everything that happens on the outside is is a result of what happens on the inside. If I'm giving myself negative self-talk, what do you think is going to happen in my life? Negative things are going to come around. It, like it's actually working on myself, but getting the balance of personal development and action. If you don't like, there's so many, uh, another, another trap yes. for network marketers is buy my course, come on my training day, go to the GoPro world event. All these things. I mean, these leaders are amazing and they do offer value. But I found I got into one of these coaching circles for three months and I did nothing but watch videos and learn and be worrying about whether I could catch the live video every day, what I was going to miss out on. And it put me out of action for a long yep. time. It was a couple of years back. It actually put me completely out of action. So I had to leave the group, um, pull myself back in, slap myself around the face and say, get on with it. You've just learned a load of stuff. Go out there and do it. And in fact, the teachings from that particular group didn't serve me well because I don't do cold market prospecting. I like the market to be a bit warmed, um, a bit more friendly. Yeah, just a, like a cozy yeah, fire. Like a warm hug when you can hug yeah. again. But no, oh, and it's, um, was there any any of your other points? Because my Christ, this boy honestly came prepared, people, that you wanted to touch on. Like, was there anything <laughs> else? I mean, it's just the journey from, from the day when you sign up in your network marketing company to becoming a leader can be a long time. For me, it's been five years and I've only just really broken free from the not for profit stage, which is the stage where you're trying to build. It's like network marketing is top loading, very heavy at the beginning on work, very heavy on um, the amount of people you need to talk to. That does flip around eventually once you've built your built your downline, you've built your team, your team are building their teams. Um, by the time you reach a, a certain point, it tips in the other way. Um, but that's not that's what everybody gets in it for. And not everybody reaches there. So be prepared to stick it out for the course. Be prepared to work on days when you don't want to work. And if you're not prepared to treat it like a business, then it will not treat you like a business owner ever. Love it. And on that note, Dan, we've been speaking for half an hour, love. So, um, wow. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> it, it goes so quick. Absolutely so quick. But... Um, we had, we did have also Matt James jumping on saying most people have absolutely no idea what it is, despite them complaining about it. Completely right, Mark. But Dan, so everyone can find you on LinkedIn, Facebook, everywhere. All over the place. Yeah, everywhere. Love it. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Don't rush off. I'll have a quick natter with you backstage, but I'll speak to you in a moment. Bye. Bye, everyone. Oh, honestly, I love that man. And everything he touched on is so, so right. And it could not have come at a better time. So I don't look at what the person's talking about. I'll get told until the day. And all weekend, I've been thinking about side hustles and side businesses. So, you know, it's just like, oh, damn. It's, um, oh, very insightful. I take it this is still Jody. Thanks, Jody. Um, so Jody is going to be coming on the show in a couple in a week or so because I know because I pestered her last night. So keep an eye out for that. It's Jody Fletcher from Chili Promotions. So on that note, people, it is Monday. Start your week. Start your week off right. What do you want to do this week? Get it down today. Get it noted down. Start your week off right. Because I promise you, if you start your week off right, the rest of it will follow. And like Dan's saying, you know, you've got to know what's going on with you internally and then it'll go on externally. So on that note, have a lovely day. Have a lovely Monday. And I'll speak to you tomorrow, half nine.